Hello viewers, today we are going to solve problem number 7 under the topic route stability criteria. So using route stability criteria, determine the location of the routes on the S plane and hence the stability of the system represented by the characteristic equation. So this is the given characteristic equation. So the first step is forming the route array. So here the maximum power is 5 that is an odd number. So the first step is you have to select all the odd numbers together. So s to the power 5, s cube and s to the power 1. And the next step is even number that is s to the power 4. So s to the power 4, s square and s to the power 0. Right. So here we are forming our route array. The first highest power is s to the power 5. So we start with s to the power 5 here. So coefficient of s to the power 5 is 1, s cube is 8 and s to the power 1 is 7. And coefficient of s to the power 4 is 4 and s square is 8 and s to the power 0 is 4. Right. So s to the power 4 row contains elements which are divisible by 4. So I am dividing it and here I am rewriting this row that is 4 divided by 4 is 1, 8 by 4 is 2 and 4 by 4 is again 1. Right. Now we are framing our route array here. So this is our s to the power 5 row and this is our s to the power 4 row that is this modified row 1, 2 and 1. Right. The next step we have to find s to the power 3 here. So what is the step? 1 into 8 minus 2 into 1 divided by 1. Right. That gives you as answer as 6. Right. Because 8 minus 2 is 6. And again we have to find the second element. So you can hide this one. So how to multiply? 1 into 7 minus 1 into 1. So 1 into 7 is 7 and 1 into 1 is 1. So 7 minus 1 gives again a value of 6 here. Right. You see here I had written the steps. So both the elements are 6. So S cube has a row like this. It has two elements and the two elements are same 6. So we are dividing this row by 6. When you divide this row we are getting value as 1 and 1. Now we can write this 1 and 1 in our route array. So right here we have got our S cube row. It is 1 and 1. Right, the next step is we are going to find S square. So how to find S square? The step is as usual, you see 1 into 2 minus 1 into 1 divided by 1. That is 2 minus 1 divided by 1 is again 1 here. Right, and the next step is again you have to hide this column. Then how to multiply? 1 into 1 minus 0 into 1 divided by 1. So 1 into 1 minus 0 gives again 1. So here the second term is also 1 here. Right. And the next step is we have to find s to the power 1. So here s to the power 1 is 1 into 1 minus 1 into 1 divided by 1. Right. So 1 minus 1 is 0 here. Right. So whenever here we are having 0, I am replacing it with epsilon. So when I replace it with epsilon and I proceed, you see epsilon into 1 minus 0 into epsilon. That is the procedure, right? Actually, I had written separately. You see epsilon into 1. I am multiplying these two minus here there are no elements. Therefore, 0 into 1 divided by again this epsilon. What happens? Epsilon into 1 is epsilon minus 0 divided by epsilon. So, which is nothing but epsilon by epsilon which is equal to 1. Right. So, here S0 row has only one element. Its value is 1 here. Right. So, when you look at S to the power 1 row, you see, we can even take this S to the power 1 as row of zeros. Right. If there is no element, we can assume 0. Right. So, the first step what we are considering is, the first thing is we are taking replacing 0 by epsilon here. That is the first thing. When you substitute the value of epsilon as 0, what happens to your first column? This is your first column, right? When you substitute epsilon as 0, what happens? You will be having the same case, right? 1, 1, 1, 1 and here 0 and 1. 
right so there is no sign change in the first column of row three right so this is our first part keep it aside the next thing is again we can take s to the power one row has row of zeros so what is the procedure when you have row of zeros we have to find the axillary equation how to find it because the row which is previous to the row of zeros forms your axillary equation here you see s square plus here again 1 because the maximum power is 2 we have to consider only even terms in this row so s square and here s to the power 0 it is nothing but 1 so s square plus 1 is equal to 0 that is our axillary equation right so this is our axillary equation when you solve this equation s square is equal to minus 1 and s is equal to plus or minus square root of minus 1 so which is equal to plus or minus root of minus 1 is nothing but j here so here i had written it as j1 right Next, we have to locate the roots on the S plane and this is your S plane. Okay, This is your real axis and this is your imaginary axis. So, it has two roots. One is plus j and another one is minus j. Right. So, here plus j comes here and minus j comes here. So, from this S plane, we can tell that where the roots are located. The roots are located on your imaginary axis. Right. So, for this characteristic equation totally we are having five roots because the maximum power of the characteristic equation is five right among these five roots two roots are lying on the imaginary axis and the remaining three roots will be lying on the left half of the s plane why we are saying it as left half of the s plane because your first column of row array does not have any sign change right so finally we are coming to the conclusion that two roots are lying on the imaginary axis right and the remaining three roots are lying on the left half of the s plane so whenever roots are lying on the imaginary axis the system is said to be limitedly stable system what is mean by limitedly stable system for certain category of inputs or for certain range of inputs the system will remain stable and for the remaining cases the system will be unstable Right. Hope you people understand the problem. Thank you.